Five NCLEX facts for postpartum infections. First, let's start with a fever. A temperature up to 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit is normal during the first 24 hours postpartum, but a temperature of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or greater after 24 hours postpartum indicates infection. Next is common infection sites. To remember these, think three T's. Tears like the perineum, tubes like the urinary tract, tissue like endometritis of the uterus. Next, let's talk about endometritis. This is a commonly seen postpartum infection. It's often seen after C-sections, especially with prolonged labor, ruptured membranes, or multiple invasive exams. Signs and symptoms include uterine tenderness, foul-smelling lachia, and fever. Next fact is that mastitis typically occurs after breastfeeding begins, but breastfeeding should continue unless an abscess is present. It's sometimes caused by staph, and symptoms include red, painful, swollen breast tissue, fever, and flu-like symptoms. And finally, of course, prevention is key to avoid many postpartum infections. We want to encourage hand hygiene, early ambulation, completely emptying the bladder, increased intake of water, and frequent peri care. That's all for facts about postpartum infections. You can find more information about mother baby nursing in the NCLEX mother baby flashcards. You can find them on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying, future nurses.